Summer, come, fill your obligations. Are you kidding me? I'm not touching this. It still has its face and everything. Never in a million years. Kind of tastes like, um, hello. This is Summer Myers from Summer Myers Expeditions reporting from Los Angeles and the future. I would just like to clarify a few things before you continue watching. Number one, I am a vegetarian and have been a vegetarian for over five years, even though Ryan doesn't respect that. And number two, he's been harassing me my entire life. Hey, thank you so much and enjoy the show. Not gonna show you shoreline, yeah? What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Ryan Myers Expedition. <laughs> God damn it! You so it! Shut the fuck up! That's not that 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 God damn it! Hey, what's up, guys? I just want to see what's going on Ryan Myers. We're here to play. All right, that was that was not planned at all. All right, so came from Colorado over here to California. We had a day to come out fishing. Hit up my buddy Austin, and we're out here looking for white sea bass today. Now, what happened? T tell us what's going on. So, <laughs> basically one guy shot a fish and broke a cargo reel of white sea bass, and he posted it the very sardine. same day that he shot it. So we pull up to the spot, to and in, there's about three or four boats on there. One boat has about five guys in the water with floats. Comment down below if you're one of those guys. <laughs> and they're all bunched up together, just busting everything up. So yeah, this goes to show why you don't post fish as soon as you get them. It's, it's the cook move number one. So since we were late to the party, there's about four or five boats over there. We're gonna come fish another one of the kelp beds that may or may not be as good. We'll see. But pretty much the only game in town is white sea bass, yeah? Oh, just see how long we can die before we get cold. Before we get cold, <laughs> okay. But that's all we're looking for today. Pretty much white sea bass. That's it. It's that time of year when maybe, maybe the really big ones come in. We'll see, I don't know. I've never done this before. I've only seen a white sea bass one time before actually with Austin in basically his aquarium. So this could be really cool. I'm may or may not freeze to death. The water is what, 60 degrees, 61? 59. 59, great. So even, <laughs> even, even colder than I thought. Okay, not colder. I have a, a <laughs> random assortment of gear, thanks Austin. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the water. I was only in California for like one day, so I didn't have any dive gear with me. I hit up my buddy Austin to see if he could arrange some halibut fishing, but was told they were going hunting for the elusive white sea bass instead, which, if you don't know, is basically just snorkeling around in the kelp all day. There was some report of like one fish being shot recently at this one particular spot, which apparently drove half of California insane, because when we arrived at 7.30, it was already a complete zoo. I have never shot a white sea bass. However, I have read about them quite a bit and they are treated basically like a unicorn that you can eat. Depending on who you ask, they are either the smartest or the dumbest fish ever. The basic idea is to snorkel around in the kelp as quietly as possible wherever the guy shot one the day before. So that's pretty much what we did. I had very little real hope of actually seeing one, so mostly I just enjoyed the new scenery and hunted on the reef. Despite the 59 degree water, I was mostly surviving in my borrowed 7mm suit and having a blast snorkeling around in the kelp. pretty unbelievable the amount of life that's out here on these kelp forests and it was incredible to find like actual structure down here and some of these little boulders and cracks and see how stuffed they were with lobsters just out crawling in the open, calico bass, mini little sheephead. It was just a really really cool experience that I do not get to have very often.
Eventually, when we got sick of snorkeling, we got on the boat to move to another spot, and after telling the guys how obsessed I am with the reef, they decided to take me to a spot where I might have a chance at a really big sheephead. <laughs> When we got there, I was told to not shoot anything right away, except a white sea bass, until we had given the area a really good look. But immediately it was evident that this spot held way, way more life. Sheepies! Yeah, run right under the anchor, bro. Again, I cruised around much more interested in the reef than snorkeling around the kelp looking for unicorns. When I figured enough time had passed, I took a shot at one of the giant sheephead, but completely missed with this massive, unfamiliar gun. I immediately started planning to pick up a dedicated set of California dive gear from AmericanDiveCo.com. If you guys need gear, support the guys that support me, and take 10% off your entire order with the code RMX10. I'll put that link down below. And if you guys have any suggestions on what gear you'd like to hunt down here in Southern California, let me know down in the comments below. We switch now to the Austin Dairy Cam as he hunts this massive sheephead with this even bigger tuna gun. I'd make fun of him more, but to be fair, he completely smoked the rest of us with it, and we really had no plans of hunting the reef anyways, and nobody had any smaller guns. You can see this structure down here is like nothing I had ever seen before in California, and the life it held was unbelievable. It looked like something I would see in the Monterey Bay Aquarium. I really thought he was going to shoot that smaller goat before the giant one appeared behind it. Austin lines up perfectly with his four-banded cannon and managed to stone this beast and secure a lot of future fish cakes. I'm a bad boy. I did a bad thing. I'm a bad guy. Duh. This is the biggest one I saw. Unfortunately, my GoPro died there. I didn't get the shot on film, but I missed an absolute stud. I don't know. It, 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 it could have eaten this thing. And then I saw one more about this big. You lost a big one too, yeah? Dude, I just, I just lost a big one right now. Wait, so you lost two? Yeah. Bunch of badass spear fishermen, we are yeah. getting our ass kicked by freaking goats. But anyways, that'll be Easter dinner right there. All right, so we got these two sheephead there. I'm taking them home. I don't know what to do with them. I've never eaten a sheephead before. What am I doing? You're telling me there's some kind of fish cake thing? It's a fish cake thing. It's, it's The whole thing is they have a consistency just like crab. So you grind okay. them up with a food processor, mix some panko in there with an egg, whatever little accoutrement you want on there. Nice oh, what's sauce. accoutrement? Oh, accoutrement? <laughs> well, for your viewers out there, accoutrement can be anything from shallots, green onions, what? you know, some sort of a seasonings and... Okay. Uh, yeah, there's nothing quite like them. Okay, well I got some of that. I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna call Sam too. She's gonna she's gonna find me a fish cake recipe that, that's a little bit more specific than that one. <laughs> but uh, we'll see you guys back in the kitchen. All right guys, so I just got home from fishing and my little sister has appeared and many of you guys know her from a bunch of our videos. She has a couple aliases, but she said she would star in the fish cake making show if I made her a cheese board. <laughs> so, Summer, there's your cheese board. Summer, introduce yourself to the people. Hi, I am Summer Myers. Welcome to Summer Myers Expeditions. And today we are making an RMX cheese board. Tell them about your various accounts. Um, I don't have various accounts. I just have the one. What do you're, you mean? You're not the mysterious Wahoo? Um, it's the elusive Wahoo. Thank you're you not much. Rowdy Cows? I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Anyways, we got the whole family here today for Easter. We are gonna make fish cakes. We're gonna take you through it. First, we're gonna devour this cheese board. Summer, come, fill your obligations. Let's go. So in exchange for that cheese board, as we previously discussed, Summer is now coming in to, come in, come in. This is Are your- you kidding me? I'm not touching this. Summer. Are you kidding me? Summer, come here, come back. <laughs> Guys, Summer honestly has never seen this fish before until just then. Summer, come here, you have to clean the fish. I never in a million years. No cheese board is that good. So I asked Summer, I said, if I, she requested a cheese board, I said, I'll make you a cheese board. But if I make you a cheese board, then you have to star in the fish cake video. Come. Um, I'm, it still has its face and everything. <laughs> of course it still has its face. Hmm. Okay. So you take the knife. I'm not doing this. No, you take the knife and you start from its head. 
Ryan, there's no, there's no way. <laughs> there's like absolutely no way. Guys, where do fish cake come from? They come from a fish. First, you have to get the meat off the fish. You can do this. You can. You can do this. Start right yes. here. Just, you got it. You can handle it. Why do you make JT do it? Because JT can't do it. Why not? Because nobody in my family is capable of filleting a fish except for me. It has a wound. <laughs> from where you speared it? Which, of course. Do you think it just jumped into the boat by itself? Or do you think someone had to go down into the ocean and acquire the fish and bring it back on the boat? Here's the thing. This isn't fair because I'm not going to eat the fish. I'm not part of the family that eats the fish. You ate the cheese board. That is different. That came from the grocery store. Guys, where do you think the cheese and the meat and the stuff on the cheese board comes from? Somebody else did it. It had a face at one time. I can't do it. It's huge. It's like the size of Kira. My brother, you remember him from all of the videos of us attempting to teach him to spearfish. This is his cat, Kira. Your daddy never brings you home any fish, does he? You poor thing. You got it. It has a face and teeth and an eyeball. <laughs> Kira says no. I'm feeling a lot of pushback here. I'm going to clean the fish and then Summer's going to come on set here and she's going to show us how to make fish cakes. Kira, Kira. What do you think, buddy? Nobody's ever brought you fresh fish up before, have they? Do you know what the recipe is? You need to call Sam. I would like to phone a friend. <laughs> Sam. Hello? Sam, we need your help. I'm good, I'm here. What do you need? Summer is struggling. Look at this fish, guys. This fish looks absolutely fantastic. Like, if I didn't know that this was sheephead and it wasn't supposed to be, like, A-grade fish, and I was making fish cakes out of it, like, I would have no idea. This stuff, it, it looks incredible. It looks incredible, doesn't it, Sam? Summer. This is Summer. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, it looks incredible. Looks really great. Oh yeah, this is Allie here too. I don't know if you've been introduced. I believe you have. This is JT's girlfriend. We have what? Sam here. What? 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 <laughs> you don't even know me. Guys, this is Allie. I'm not sure if you've met. JT's brother. JT's... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is Allie, my brother's new wife. Summer. You already met me. <laughs> They've met you. Help us out, Sam. What are we supposed to do? Did you already boil the potatoes? Yes, boil the potatoes. We have mashed potatoes ready. I think the fish needs to be poached, and that's just cooking it really quickly in water, just so it becomes easier to break apart. We really, really struggle without the salmon around. I don't know how anybody survives without a salmon but basically, Summer abandoned me, and we, we have no idea what we're doing. We took some of the random ingredients that were included in the recipe that Sam sent us, we put them into this thing. It actually looks not half bad. It is not gonna look the way Austin's looked. He just sent me a picture of his. He's making them right now. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. Are you excited to finish this video? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> Are you ready to grate the garlic? Your most important job. Yes, I will honor <laughs> Sam Graham's memory by grating garlic, her favorite ingredient. And then eat one. Right, a, a garlic clove? No, no, a fish patty. I'll think about it. It depends on what it looks like. I didn't put a salmogram amount of garlic and I just put like one clove. Okay, well we can do it again. This is not in the recipe and I just thought we have to put it in, but you know, we're doing it again. Reshoot. Summer, how bad do you wish you had the garlic press you sent, Sam? It's really quite vital. I can't live without it. Make patty and then put in. Pat, you want me to touch the fish? Yes. We've made it. We're done. We're hungry. This is happening. Summer, make a patty. Put it in the thing and then we'll try the patty and we'll come full circle and you can see where food comes from. Let's go. How small is the patty? Whatever you want. I can't believe I'm touching fish. You are touching meat, wild meat. Look at you go. Is that a good amount? <laughs> yes, that's a perfect amount. <laughs> Look at you go. Uh, 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 uh. Send help. <laughs> is that good? Sure. And just throw her in? Throw her in. Oh, it's really fish. All right, it looks good, a couple more. Me? A dozen, we need like a dozen. Oh God. Guys, look at that, we're sizzling. When was the last time you ate fish? I, I don't really eat fish. I've had a couple of like fish dips, maybe like tuna as a child. Um, I don't eat fish or meat. I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> ah! Oh even my though, God. Even though Ryan doesn't respect that. It fell apart, what it's, are you doing? It's, 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 <laughs> I want nothing to do with this. Was the cheese board worth it? Tell the people. Honestly, no, because I didn't understand what I was signing on to. I was just told I had to like film an intro. 
<laughs> That's not what I said. I said star in the video. I'll show you guys the text. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, this is not up to Samogram standards. No, it's not. Samogram, we really, really miss you. I don't know how anybody survives cooking. I thought I could just show up with your recipe and like make it happen. It was a lot more work than I expected. They're not binding very well. Maybe they need more mustard or something. Thanks, Mom. I think she wants to be in the video. No, I don't want to be in the video. I'm saying it needs another egg before it binds things. Sam will edit me out. My mother. She is our biggest fan. We appreciate everything you do for us, Mother. Mother, come into the video. Say hi. We just want, they want one hello from the Myers mother. Come on, Mom, come through. What am I doing? You're just saying hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Tell the people to like and subscribe and let us know what they think like down below. Like and subscribe <laughs> down below. <laughs> you killed it. These look good, actually. Right? Let me go my Nothing is gonna be as good as your guac. <laughs> Crushing it. Look at you go. You're just a fish cooking goddess, as you would say. Mm. I think some of these are ready to be flipped. What's the goal here? The goal is to cook them. Wow. Ooh, ah. Oh, she's not so cute. Cooking dinner is a whole lot harder without Samogram cooking dinner for you. We have discovered. However, we've managed to make it happen. These look delicious. Summer, try a bite of fish. Let's see it. Okay, I'm gonna try this little baby. Okay, I'm gonna dip it in the Old Bay. Guys, Old Bay makes everything better. Yay, nay. It's not bad. It's an interesting consistency, but it like it kind of tastes like um. Like what? It tastes like chicken. <laughs> like chicken. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Get, a, get out of here. It does. But it has like the fishy, but it's not too fishy. But I can tell that it's fish. Uh, okay. But the potatoes and stuff are nice. How do you feel about it as someone who eats fish? As someone who eats fish, that is fantastic. As someone who struggled and slaved over this project and cursed this whole project's name, this entire operation. Should we make some more? We might make more. <laughs> JT, come try this. I'm telling you. You have to do it for the camera. Dip oh it yeah. Old Bay. More old bay, the better. <laughs> That's right. Allie, get in here. Tastes like a hash brown. It's good, right? Yeah. yeah. We should have put old bay in the actual mix. Ooh, the potatoes, oh, nice. the potatoes are key, right? This is fantastic, guys. We have like like five pounds more of this. We're gonna keep making them. Everybody keeps eating them. This is amazing. Guys, if you wanna see Summer come out to Hawaii and join some more of our Catch and Cooks, maybe kill her first animal, yeah? Take you spearfishing like we did, Absolutely JT. Absolutely not. <laughs> that guys, would not happen. Let us know down below, and we'll see you next time right here on Ryan Meyer's Expeditions.